Hi, I'm Sean Wilner. I am the digital media editor of The Flat Hat. Hi, I'm Claire Hogan. I'm in the online section of The Flat Hat. Hi, I'm Rebecca Klinger. I'm also in the online section. And today we're going to be doing a review of Williamsburg's grocery stores. To start off, we're going to be looking at an oldie but a goodie, Food Lion. Right, so this is the classic spaghetti, the Food Lion house brand. It's only 99 cents, so you go Food Lion. And this is what I put on all my pasta is Food Lion's brand traditional pasta sauce. It's a family favorite. It says so on the label. Um, it costs $1.19, just your average pasta sauce. Out of five, I think I'd give Food Lion a three. I would agree with that. I would also give Food Lion a three out of five. Yeah, I'm actually gonna concur. It's about a three out of five. It's your, pretty much your standard neighborhood grocery store. Here we are at Trader Joe's. Um, let's go check it out. Here I have some Trader Joe's brand spaghetti for 99 cents. Looks very similar to the other spaghetti we've seen today. It is a dollar. Here we've got the ground beef from Trader Joe's. It's a little bit more expensive than the other ground beef, but I don't know, looks good to me. So the price was a little higher, but and it's also a little further from campus. A bit of a of drive. But overall the vibe, the people in there were very nice. Um, a lot, got a few free samples. Uh, my overall rating, I think I'd give it like a four out of five. I, I was really happy with it. I mean, I definitely give it a five out of five. I actually bought some snacks there myself. The one drawback I would say is that there, you rarely will find everything you need at Trader Joe's, so you'll have to go somewhere else after if you're trying to do all of your shopping. But, uh, so, so that's why I'm giving it a four out of five instead of a five out of five. But overall, good shopping experience. We have now arrived at Publix. Publix has recently opened in Williamsburg, has a lot of very devoted fans. I've heard a, a lot of excitement about this chain coming here. Looks a lot bigger than Trader Joe's, that's for sure. So we will see more inside. This is the, the Publix brand. It costs $1.49, traditional pasta sauce, curry tomatoes, you know what you're getting. It's the Publix brand spaghetti, it is five for five dollars. That's pretty much the same price as all the other stores. Uh, looks pretty normal. It's an enriched spaghetti product. Is that the same as spaghetti? Who knows? So, upon completing our adventure within Publix, uh, in terms of prices, it's a little bit pricier than some of the other places we've been. Not dramatically so, but a little bit. So I give it a three out of five there. This is pretty far away. If you have a car, it's like 10 to 15 minutes. So it's not terrible, but you can get the food line in five uh, and others in a short period of time. So it really needs to draw you out here uh, is you know, what Publix has to offer. And I will say, the amount of offerings that Publix has is significant. So in total, I would give Publix a four out of five. Um, yeah, I'm gonna agree with that. It's like a four out of five. They got a big variety, but you know, nothing special. I disagree. I think the deli is very special, and that's why I give it a five out of five. So now we're at Aldi. Uh, we don't know a lot about Aldi. I've never actually been there. I've been told that there are a lot of off-brand things that are cheap. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So I'm here with all the brand Regano traditional pasta sauce. It is 85 cents, so that is 15 cents cheaper, maybe 25 cents cheaper than what you get at Food Lion. Can't vouch for the taste, but I imagine it's just pureed tomatoes. Spaghetti uh, looks great. It's in a bigger box, so the price, although it's 139, um, is probably per unit less than Food Lion. Uh, it's conveniently placed right next to the marinara sauce. Just a beautiful box. So in terms of overall vibe or feel of Aldi, I don't know about you guys, I didn't really like it that much, so I'm gonna give it a two out of five. Uh, I think because of the off-brand stuff, A, they had fun of off-brands like Dr. Dazzle instead of Dr. Pepper. That was pretty fun. Um, and I think because of those uh, off-brand names, you get really low prices. So I'd give it a, a four out of five. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a solid three out of five. I'm gonna keep with the trend and keep it at three out of five. There's room for improvement here. So having completed our tours of all four stores that we chose to go to today in Williamsburg, it's time to pick the winners. Um, for me, I think Trader Joe's is my favorite. There's just a certain sentimentality and a certain uh, positive positivity that comes from going into a Trader Joe's uh, that you can't emulate at any other typical grocery store. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree. I'm a diehard Trader Joe's fan. I'm gonna disagree. I liked Publix. Well, we hope that you have found this video to be educational and worth your time. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs>